Hello and welcome to video from libreprogramming.org and as I have uh, promised in my previous video in this video we will uh, compute log natural of x okay so we proceed so I take an input of long double d and this should be greater than zero it's a hint uh, that you shouldn't uh, put negative values and then if it is d greater than zero then we send it to log natural one and if it is uh, if it is greater than 1 then it, it goes to log natural 1 and if it is greater than 0 then it goes to log natural function and otherwise if it's negative then it's a math domain error so if it is equal to 1 then it would go in log natural so let's see what is log natural so we remember our expansion right uh, log of uh, x is nothing but uh, x minus 1 minus x minus 1 whole square by 2 plus x minus 1 whole cube by 3 and so on so I substitute term is equal to d minus 1 and power of 1 is minus 1 denominator is 2 these are the initial values for these variables and temp is nothing but term so now what I do is since power of 1 is involved so sometime minus 1 is involved this would be multiplied by minus 1 and 1 minus 1 to itself again and again so temp will become negative and positive so if this is uh, positive uh, if this is positive then we make the sign negative and uh, then uh, do it uh, add it to result that is subtract so and if this is uh, uh, negative then we simply add it because why because we know that this d is going to lie between 0 and 1 so result will always be negative so that's why this has been done we compute up to minus 15 because uh, we are interested into 15 uh, positions up to for decimal for 15 positions and then what we do is we compute the next power that is first d minus 1 we have computed now we have to compute d minus 1 whole square by 2 so d minus 1 whole square is calculated and then we multiply it with minus 1 so uh, it was minus 1 right and so the temp becomes negative right and then we divide temp with the denominator okay so denominator is what denominator is 2 so this is nothing but minus d minus 1 whole square by 2 then power of 1 is multiplied to itself that is minus 1 and uh, denominator is incremented now temp is uh, put into result and then we compute d minus 1 whole cube and then we multiply it with minus 1 power of 1 which was pos which has become positive because of this multiplication in previous loop now we divide it with the denominator so denominator is 3 because we incremented in last step so finally temp is d minus 1 whole cube by 3 and we repeat till temp becomes uh, temp is greater than this uh, sorry greater than this or minus temp is greater than this so it's a kind of uh, absolute calculation absolute value calculation and then we could not add uh, um, temp here temp so we add that and uh, we send the result right so that is for the calculation of uh, uh, something which is less than uh, 1 or equal to 1 but if it is positive then it is simpler so <coughs> we remember uh, from our last video that we have to take a term d minus 1 by d reverse that is 1 by x so log of x can be computed if uh, we have uh, um, y is equal to x by x minus 1 so we have to reverse that because in the expansion x is in the denominator that is uh, 1 by 2x and so on so if you remember uh, the expansion 1 by 2x and so on so you need to remember the expansion it's 1 by 2x plus 1 by 3x square and so on so for example I'll uh, open the PDF for you so the PDF is given here say so it is 1 by x plus 2x square plus 3x cube so 
result plus is equal to temp. Now temp is initialized to term. Now term is what? D minus 1 by D. So the term given was D here, right? So what we have seen is we have to compute y by y minus 1. And then if you put it here, then it becomes y in the denominator and y minus 1 at the top. So you see, term is d minus 1 by d. So we add that here. And then we compute the next term. And then we multiply it with denominator. Denominator is seeded with 2. And then we increase the denominator. In the next loop, temp is added to result. And then again assign. And so we compute the result. Let's see how it runs. So let's say we want to compute log of 2. So, okay, this is the message. So log of 2 is this much. So to verify the correct result, let's use Python. So if I say print log of 2. So 0 0.693147. 0 0.693147. Let's do some calculation less than 1. So this is minus 2.302585. So let's calculate point 0.1. So this is the one. So what I will do is I'll put this video on uh, uh, libreprogramming.org and kunjika.libreprogramming.org. So this video will be live also at kunjika.libreprogramming.org. And you should go there and look for a question with title log series implementation log series C implementation. I'll put this here. It will be uploaded to YouTube and this will be the title of question where I'll put this and I'll also put the source code there. So if you have any comments or you have questions on this program, you can go and ask there. So thanks for watching the video. Happy programming.